The purpose of this video is to give you an idea what a tensor is. In my next video, I'm going to talk about why a tensor is necessary. Okay, let's start this video first. I guess many students confuse matrix with a tensor. What is the difference? Here is the answer. A matrix is just a box that organizes numbers, while a tensor is one of linear functions. Linear functions mean something like this. Even though you are not familiar with this linear function, please don't be afraid. I will not talk about difficult things about this linear function. Okay? And then let's see what a tensor is. This is a chart showing what a first rank tensor is. This is a first rank tensor because this function has only one input. If this function has two inputs, the function will be a second rank tensor. So let's try inputting something in this first rank tensor. This input is called a base. And then let's say this function gives this value. Now let's try doubling this input. As this function is linear, the output will also be doubled. Let's input another base. Please be careful on this. This subscript is different from the previous one. Okay? And let's say this function gives this value. Next, let's input this. This is formed by the addition of this and this. Okay? And as this function is linear, the output will be this value. This is formed by the addition of this and this as well. Now, you may have a question. What is this function? The answer is dot product of an input and a vector to 5. So now you can tell that dot product is one of tensors. You may have another question. Why is a vector one of tensors? You can consider that a vector is the function which conveys an input to the output box as it is, right? Let's move on to the next topic to understand my next video. What is the feature of a vector? I mean a first rank tensor. Here is a vector. One may recognize this vector as something like this. But another one may recognize this vector as something like this. And then this expression can no longer be used. However, the idea of this vector has not changed at all. The length of this vector has not changed. And the direction of this vector has not changed either. The only thing that changes is this expression. The way of changing this expression follows a rule, which is this rule. And actually, it is vice versa. I mean, if something follows this rule, it will be what we can call a vector. Okay? And now, you may be thinking, so what? 
Actually, this feature of a vector will become useful if you handle a second rank tensor, like a stress tensor or an inertia tensor. I will be explaining them in my next video. Lastly, I'll ask you a question. This is someone's height and weight. Is this a tensor? And why?